In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use the Excavate tool in Revit 2025. So I've got a model uh, partly done here. So I've got the topography in, got the walls in, and then if we look in the section, we can see we've got a floor in there as well. So nice and easy now we're in Revit 2025 to actually excavate this out. What we can do is just click on the topography itself like this. Then up here, we've got some new tools up here. Uh, this one's called Excavate. So when I click on Excavate, what I'm looking for is that floor. So if I hover over here, you can see it just starts to appear, or I could use uh, in, the, in the section as well. And then when I click on that, you can see it's now excavated that area around to it. Uh, we've got a slight issue there um, in is that we've still got the, uh, you can see the topography line coming down on the inside of the wall. That's easily fixed when we're in the section view. Uh, so what we've got here is we've got uh, the topography blending into the walls. Uh, when it cuts, you can see here, when it cuts the uh, topography, to, to the floor, it does it to the underside, so that's not an issue. Uh, so all we need to do is go into uh, Modify, use the Cut tool, Cut Geometry tool, which is top left up here, click on the topography, and then click on that wall. And you can see now it's taken that line around to here. So we'll do the same one here. So we'll click on the topography, click on the wall, and you'd want to do the same for the foundations as well. Um, if you've got that in there as well, because um, if we look at this one here, we can now see the foundations look correct. Uh, whereas on this one here, we can see we've got it all blending in. You can see the topo topography blending into our, so I just click on that one and then click on the foundation itself. You can see it's now cut itself around there. Uh, this is a great new tool for Revit 2025. And when I come back to this one here, you can see where I've done those two walls, that line has now disappeared. To do these two, I just need to go back and do the other side uh, using a different section. And that's how we use the Excavate tool in Revit 2025.